mum, she we discovered um, back in 20, uh, 2013, you know, that she had cancer. And it was already on stage four, so um, things were in looking too great. And for me, uh, we didn't really, you know, have the best of relationships when I was growing up. But so I thought that was an opportunity for me to try and connect with her and get to know her and maybe also make peace with everything. I'm Kate Bimpofu, I'm a photographer, I do a bit of photojournalism, a bit of street photographer. I'm based in Bulawayo, the city of Kings. It's a huge mindfuck, bro. Because <laughs> one moment you, you know, you're despairing, you, you're like, you know, down, oh, and then the next day, you know, you just get this huge opportunity to go produce some amazing pictures and, you know, you, you're happy again, so it keeps you going for, again for another week or two. And, and then you, one, the major issue is obviously, you know, with an economy that's not even moving forward. To put it lightly, photography becomes a luxury for most people, bro, to be honest, you know. So if there's someone who's, who has a passion for photography in a company and this person is willing to do it for free, they're not going to hire you. It's just, it's that simple, you know. Some of my favorite work is that that's just, you know, when you're walking in the street there and then you just see this moment and you manage to capture it the way you were really thinking about it. You may not really get the, the framing or composition correct, but when it comes out the way you visualize it, man, technicalities don't really matter, you know. I'm just enjoying, like, you know, growing every day and learning and especially checking out what the guys in South Africa are making, uh, the guys in Kenya are making, and Nigerian photographers as well. I think they're dope. I'm loving seeing newer and younger black people, you know, really producing um, really good work. Yeah. I think it's exciting times right now on the continent. Mm -hmm.